part of the attractiveness here is you know, having tractors going up and down the street. And I took my daughter to playgroup this morning. I mean, I was brought up in inner city Leeds and being able to walk by a river and see cows and horses grazing. I just think as a child, that is, it's like something out of Famous Five. It's, it's brilliant. We live in a very idyllic part of the country and people from outside see it like that. One of the benefits of Spofford is it's still a working village. Through these people coming, new people coming into the village, we've kept the, the school, we've kept the church and the Methodist church. Um, we did sadly lose one public house but we've got two left. Um, we've got two local shops, and I know we had m more shops. I mean, I remember when there was more shops, but we have kept those, and we're viable, and we have a very good bus service, and I think that is very helpful. I will tell you my opinion of the housing in the village, and that is that having grown up here, wanting to return back here, I couldn't afford to buy a house in Spoffers. The only reason I'm living back here is because my mother had a stroke, we took her on to care for her, and now she's in a home even on a good professional salary, and I'm on between 30 and 40 thousand pounds, I would struggle to buy, find the house. Decent sized garden around here. Everything has filled in now and we don't want it to expand anymore. Being a villager, you know, that's how I feel. So I wouldn't like them to go onto like the green, you know, green belt or anything like that. The housing situation is great if you've got lots of money. You've got plenty to choose from, from small, old cottages to big modern houses but if you haven't got money if you're working class if you are somebody who grows up locally and you'd like to stay local then the situation's entirely different well I think that they grow up in the village they get married or they live together nowadays common thing and they just can't afford the housing there isn't enough council houses and of course they just have to move away and if that goes on, it's going to be a village for old people in years to come. Yeah, I think my kids will struggle definitely to... Well, with the prices of houses now, it's just astronomical, you know. I couldn't see myself moving out and then moving back into Bartsy. I'd have to live somewhere else first to get back into the housing system because there's too much money involved. Well, it's just getting more and more and more expensive as days, like, as weeks go in and out. Like, same houses are going for... F five, six times what they were bought for. And people my age just don't ever stand a chance of ever being able to get a house here because whatever profession you go into, whether you go to university or get a degree, it, it's never going to be able to pay you enough to pay mortgages on houses around here. It's come about because of this rural little look that we have in this country. People have bought into it and... People who have retired, people who have got a bit more money, have moved out of the local towns and cities, such as Harrogate, York and Leeds, and they've bought up housing, which is quite understandable. You can understand them wanting to do that. But that, of course, pushed up the prices, and it's removed that pool of affordable housing that local people might have once bought into. As rich people are buying 10, 12 property because they can afford it, people that are in property, and that means that people will rent it because they want to live here but there's no chance to buy. The problem is, I think, is caused by high demand and um, short supply of, of cheap affordable housing. New developments almost always resisted and when new development does occur, partially I guess to maximise profit, partially to make it more attractive to those who are already local, it tends to be more executive homes which we need like a hole in the head to be quite honest. I'm, I'm quite angry at the fact that they've let it get to this point, but it's not going to be easy to rectify. And uh, we had five shops, which we've only two now. And uh, we also have an off licence, well, that's gone kind of the wind. My view is I get so worried when things like pubs shut. We've already lost one pub since I've been here. That, you know, if the school goes, the pubs go. And that's the end of it. And my mother-in-law also lives in the village. She doesn't drive. And she's very de dependent on services like the news agent and the post office. And, and if they go, it'd make life very, very difficult for her and other people in the village. So I think you need a thriving and growing population in order to keep the key services alive. Because if they go, they'll never come back. What is affordable? I think housing, housing associations tend to be quite good because they'll give a, an affordable 
type of property but have also control and maintenance and all the other things that that you don't necessarily get with a council because that changes um, allegiance every few years so you know, they make provinces um, to suit whatever suits the community at the time. The Yorkshire Rural Community Council have been involved for many years and at, um, Harrogate Borough Council have I do believe done their, their best and are much involved at the moment uh, with uh, trying to get affordable houses. I'd welcome new housing in Spofforth if it was to be kept to an internal market, low priced housing for local young families, young people, then yes. I think one of the solutions has to be uh, more housing. You just look at the demographics where we're getting an increasing number of single people. Um, means that there is this tremendous pent up demand for housing and that means you know redevelopment and there's already been a lot of redevelopment of brownfield sites but unfortunately it does mean greenbelt sites are under threat as well and I think if you know as, a, as an economy we want to prosper etc that's got to be we've got to see res more residential development and in, in places like Spofforth. Because we need to create affordable housing for local people, for people servicing local industries, the local farms, to be able to move into. Yes, they should build more houses for uh, affordable houses for young people. Mm. Selectively, we have to uh, improve the affordable housing stock, uh, probably via association housing. I think um, the sort of Gordon Brown and John Prescott idea of um, low cost housing, particularly for people in crucial sectors like nursing and, and teaching and volunteer is, is really important and I actually believe there should be you know, quotas and there's, there's housing protected for people. Think about it carefully um, and you know you, you, you can go to the high rise monstrosities of the 60s uh, and blockages and even to um, some of the, sort of the area in Weatherby where they built council houses and no way could you not describe them as a council house. They'd automatically you can see they're a council house. Make them look decent properties. You know, you, you, the, the building materials that are available these days, you, you, you can put houses up in four days. You've got to balance it, really, if, it, if it's possible. You must balance it that we have a development, but always um, sympathetically.